Hi, this is George Ray with the Evolve Academy. Welcome back to our series on programming Novastar Smart. Today we're going to do part six, saving and exporting. So to save and export, go to the project tab. Uh, this is while I'm offline. And the save and export icons are up here in the corner. Zooming in, we have all your basic file functions. So there's new, create a new uh, show file. Open, open an existing show file. Save, save the current show file with the current name in the current location. Basically overwrite it. Save as, uh, save your show file to another location or give it a new name, versioning for instance. The last icon is export. Export is not the show file export but an export of your wiring diagrams and your sender configuration file. Let's take a look at export. So in export you have uh, several options. You can export from the front view or back, back view. Uh, so your wiring diagram can be based on where you are actually wiring your cabinets from the rear usually. Or it can be the same view as you wired you typically wire things from the front, from the audience view when you're making the connections in uh, screen connection. Uh, folder, choose the file location for the folder, or choose the folder where the export folder will end up. Uh, there are some customizations. We're going to go through those, including uh, company name, and you can add a custom logo to the exported drawings, a watermark, which will uh, earmark your drawings. Uh, the watermark uses the company name that you put in. So if you use just a file name or a show name, that's what watermarks across the drawing. If you don't specify a company name, Novastar is what comes across. And you also have the option of keeping or replacing existing versions. Let's take a look at how you do this. So here is the save export icon or save export dialog box. I'm doing it from the front view and I clicked custom. So when I click custom, the box expands. So you can see I have front view selected, uh, the saving path where I'm going to put it. It creates a folder because every sheet uh, creates a separate uh, drawing. So you get uh, one sheet for your senders, including showing all your redundancies. You get a separate sheet for each individual screen so if you have three or four screens laid out, you will get, so you have four screens, you will get four sheets, one with each screen. The sheet includes whatever you called the screen. That name translates over onto the page, and it's the drawing name. Uh, so here in custom, I have uh, put the Evolve name. I've put an Evolve logo, and I've removed the watermark. The uh, when you click uh, the export button, and I already have things saved in this, here's what you end up with if you have multiple exports. They're always called screen export. It's a folder, not a single file, with multiple uh, PNGs inside of it. So you can see here I've exported four different setups. They're always called screen export, so I've made it a habit to just always keep them all. Here is an example of the sender drawing. So you can see in the lower corner, it has the Evolve logo, the Evolve name. It has the uh, date that the export was created, shows my sender type, device name, what port it's on, and then a redundancy table if you set up redundancy. So that's all set up for you. And then the other export from this is this sheet. Again, we have the title is the screen name from the screen tab. The Evolve comes from the company name. The Evolve logo was the logo I put in, the date, and then it shows sender one. And if you zoom in on the cabinets, it actually tells you cabinet rotation, receiver card number, controller number, lots of useful information. You can see the way the diamond path uh, has a start and an end. You could export this from the rear and the connections would all be reversed. And the front and rear export is completely independent again of how you 
did the screen connection set up and what view you chose to do it in in smart so let's go ahead and do this for real let me open up smart so here's that smart diagram so I've got cabinets already assigned to ports one and two of the sender here's my cabinet numbering there's my other cabinet numbering got everything saved uh, I called this screen over here you can see I called it diamond so that will carry through to our connection drawing I click on export here's the folder I'm gonna put it in which is my regular documents folder I'm gonna make this a rear view just because that will be uh, the way the stagehands or my LED team is gonna see it I've selected custom the company name is smart training there's our company logo and I'm going to enable the watermark just so you can see what it looks like I click on export it says the folder screen export already exists I can either cancel quit the export process right here replace which will overwrite or keep both I'm going to just keep both and we're done because I only had one screen so if I go to my Windows Finder I go to my Documents folder and I scroll down here Screen Export, Screen Export 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and Screen Export 5 so let's open up that first we're going to look at the device page so here's the device view so we have port A1 I have two MCTRL R5s R5 number one ports one through eight and it's one 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 two one three one four all the way through one eight and then R5 number two is one one B so this port is a backup for one one this port is a backup for one two and here you see my company name was smart training so here's smart training is the watermark on this drawing down here we have the evolve logo smart training is the company name this is the device page and there's the date let's go to the next drawing in this folder and here is the screen export drawing from the rear so it starts in the upper right and heads left and notice that these cabinets are to the left of the big diamond when you look at it from the audience perspective they're from the right so it does all the flipping of the cabinet orientation for you this is all on R5 number one has a bunch of information here about the the actual pixel space cabinet weight and power which come from the edits in the cabinet management tab we covered earlier over here we have smart training that's the company name title is diamond this comes from the screen tab name so whatever I called the screen tab that's what comes up here and today's date so that gives you the export you can do all of this offline not connected if you have multiple screens create one on each tab uh, so you have separate tabs and each screen drawing will come up as a separate page the drawings are all PNGs so if I go to just the detail view here so it creates them as standard PNGs um, they're not very large so 12,000 is what 12 meg and 7 meg uh, the drawing sizes change based on pixel space you will get up to a, a point they are uh, relatively the same size as the pixel space of your LED display and then eventually they start compressing because it exceeds 5,000 horizontal pixels uh, other than that exports a great way to create quick and easy documentation for the LED wiring especially for your signal wiring uh, lots of information on it and it's just another feature in smart that makes our jobs as LED show technicians go faster and easier hope you enjoyed this look forward to having you come back for part seven which will be in just a little while thank you and have a great day